Hi everybody, Nicole Williams here again uh, with Bring Your Own Book Club for Busybodies. And last time I was just saying a little bit about the club and, and basically what we do every month and how this particular edition is different because it is the virtual edition. Now, um, with that being said, I'm still going to work in some elements of what we do every month. And we have like a little questionnaire kind of deal. We have a part one and a part two. So I'm just going to pick one of the questions on our little part one just because it has a lot of variety. And it says, comment on one of the following. Characters, author, language, plot, structure, time period, theme, symbol, or book cover. See why I picked that one. Um, but I actually brought to the table this particular book, and it is Always Wear Joy, uh, My Mother, Bold and Beautiful by Susan Fowles Hall, I'm sorry, Hill. <laughs> and this particular book is amazing. I'm actually not even done with it. As you can see, I'm on page, what is this? 100, I'm on chapter 10, so I still have this much to read, but it is not one of those books that I wanna rush through. Um, because of the content, it is um, kind of emotional. Uh, and um, emotional reads, sometimes I have to take my time with it. Uh, it was the end of the school year when I started reading it. I started reading it around Mother's Day, and I thought it was quite, um, you know, appropriate. But if I'm going to comment, I'm going to comment on, let's see, the character. Let me comment on the character. This book is actually based on um, the author's mother, and she's actually um, pretty much a black Haitian actress uh, that was known for being kind of never really uh, able to find the best role, but she was a very strong, dynamic, and also misunderstood talent. Very talented, but underrated. Very talented, but undervalued in Hollywood. Never really finding her place. And so one thing I remember that got me from the start was the prologue. And it says, through a glass darkly. Some of the quotes that they even put for the vignettes are just is telling about who Josephine Premis is. Hopefully I'm pronouncing her name correctly. I kind of looked up a couple of things, but some of the things she says, like she has here, I did work with Katherine Dunham in Ethel Waters' show, Billie Holiday. That was after I got over thinking I was ugly. I really did. A friend told me to stand in front of the bathroom mirror and repeat over and over, I am beautiful. It worked. I began to feel beautiful, which is very important. Um, there are some quotes by Josephine that really kind of let you know she was a no-nonsense kind of person, though, even though she did feel insecurities and things like that. Uh, here's one of them. Te uh, it says, Mom, what do I put on the school form where it says, mother's occupation when you're not acting in a show. She says, tell your teacher, my mother's an unemployed legend. So she has this grandiose kind of way of living uh, or being looked at by her daughter, which is totally understandable as well, and rightfully so. But sometimes the world she you know, wanted to infiltrate did not really see her as that. So that was kind of um, also hard to read about because, you know, she kind of was uh, ahead of her time in some ways. I actually saw her on, believe it or not, A Different World. This is the only reason that I even know about the author. I saw on A Different World years ago as a kid and also on The Cosby Show, this particular uh, woman who, on this side, she's actually, you know, the younger version of herself, of course. But later on, you can kind of see... Um, more of the image that we've seen on television. And I remember her being very, you know, not even outside the box, but very uh, bold and very beautiful and very, you know, this voice, this raspy voice and so on. So she was, I, I don't even remember the part she was playing, but I do know I've enjoyed reading about her mom and just about the struggles and how hard she was. Like, when it came down to her relationship, she was in an inter interracial relationship. And as you can see on the side, uh, Mrs. Hill, she actually is um, an entertainment writer, producer, television. She did write for a lot of uh, the different world 
sitcom episodes and she's a lot of behind the scenes basically doing a lot of different things there but just to kind of see her upbringing and some of her struggles and um some of what she saw her parents go through being in an interracial marriage uh her dad was so heavenly in lo love with her mom and then they even had you know their struggles towards the end of or where i'm stopping in the book that was kind of hard for me to read how I'm not going to tell everything, but, you know, they were no longer married. Let's just put it like that. Or maybe they were, but they were no longer together. Let's put it like that. But it's a really great memoir, and the character just jumps off of the page. I, I have some more quotes. I didn't want to highlight in this book. I normally do that, and I was trying so hard. I was like, no, I want to keep some books clean. <laughs> But it's certain things that she says that it's just like, I wish I did highlight them because they're just funny. She's a very funny character and she reminds me a lot of my grandmother, how she does not cry in front of people. She's not gonna show a certain type of emotion um, in efforts of appearing strong. And, and, and she just didn't let anything break her even though things were breaking her down. And whether it be, you know, racism or lack of opportunity or whether it be not pretty enough or feeling like she, she's not pretty enough for a part or maybe people telling her she's not pretty enough for a part. We know how Hollywood is. And just in general, you know, anything that um, does judge you on the surface. Um, it was just interesting to see how at the end of the day, she still was not going to, in front of her own daughter, shed a tear, nor was she going to um, really let it get her down. It wasn't going to stop her from pursuing her dream. So I thought that was amazing. She worked with the likes of Lena Horne. She worked with the likes of uh, Diane Carroll. So all these great actresses that we know and love who got a little bit more, even more stardom than her. Uh, she was really good friends with them. And it's just a wonderful moment in time. And this author is an amazing writer she can write her butt off i mean it's just very eloquent you can tell she's um coming from a place of prestige uh it's sometimes a little funny to read how her world was and i think about whitley gilbert off of a different world and i can't help but wonder if maybe 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 that is based on somebody that she knows very well maybe even herself i'm not sure uh, I haven't gotten to anything that says that, but it just makes you think. But yeah, so I'm going to be finishing this um, soon. But like I said, it was just a very emotional read. So yeah, kind of just had to pace myself. And so I can't wait to see a little bit more about yours. So comment on one of the following characters, author, I kind of did both there, language, plot, structure, time period, theme, symbol, book cover. I can't wait to see what you say.